Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second Future Crew Live Cybercast. We're coming to you live from Chiba City, the entertainment capital of the greater multi-worlds. I'm Claire L. Evans. I'm the former chief marketing officer of the Pepsi Fujitsu Computer Corporation, but I was recently acquired by Telefantasy TV to help bring to market some real innovations in network program technology. I'm joined here by my employer, the CEO of Telefantasy <laughs> TV, JJ Stratford. We're jacking into your cybercast, your cybercast, because we heard that media in your time is troubled. And we've been working on solutions to bridge the natural balance between the information feed and the media stream. Would you like to meet her? Her name is Harriet. Greetings. I am Harriet. Welcome. Hi, Harriet. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, JJ, Harriet is your creation? Yes, she is. And what does Harriet stand for? Hi, animal, radical, real time, intelligence, and public television. Now, what does that mean, JJ? Harriet was designed with an empathic quality. We figured if we mixed artificial intelligence with network communications and human interactions, that we could go beyond what people expect of television. Well, that is just remarkable. What a remarkable piece of technology. She must have some kind of uh, order in her programming, some kind of set of rules that she abides by. Estimation? Harriet's a very unique computer. She doesn't often rely on order. Mm -hmm. She has a more kind of wild and crazy side. Would you say that uh, instead of having code, she has something more like a manifesto? She does. You want to ask her about it? Yeah, I would love to know. Here we go. Oh, this is the first. Okay, well, that's really nice of her, I think, to read us that way. Let's see what else we got. Wow. A little, a little McLuhan in the code, huh? <laughs> what else we got? Run us another one. Harriet? What do you believe? The clitoris is a direct line to the matrix. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So not only is she a feminist, but she's kind of hardcore. She's extremely political. Harriet, she's I'm just I'm programmed that way. I'm growing to really respect this. This machine, can I even call her a machine? Well, you sure are a machine. Give us another one. We don't give a shit about your phony social reality. That's again, I think she's reading the room a little bit. Harriet? We oh. create a civilization of the mind in cyberspace. That's, that's great. That's great. How about we have a little, a little cherry on top. The last line of the, the last line, please, of the manifesto. Harriet, do you have, are you ready for that? We are on future hunt. I would love to see the pineal paintbrush in action. Oh. I think that I think the audience would also enjoy that. Okay. All right, cool. Well, maybe we should get um, an audience volunteer. Please t um, take a seat. Now, uh, what's your name? Rio. Hi, Harriet. Hello, Rio. Now, now you've initialized Harriet, so we're going to go ahead and get the pineal paintbrush on your head. 
calm down. I close my eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Harriet's got a... She runs on an array of millions of empathy chips, and in order to calibrate with the individual user, must sort of have a calm moment where she can kind of integrate her resonant feedback. Hello? How was that? It was out of this world. Good news is you get to take home that experience today. What? What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> well, while we were running that pineal paintbrush program, we were also burning it to disc. And so you can take that disc right there oh my. <laughs> home with wow, you. Oh, thank you and relive the experience as many times as you like, as long, of course, as you have a uh, Harriet-compatible pineal paintbrush of your own, and that's coming out in fall of 2053. I think if you get with Samantha, actually, we could probably get you on the uh, early list. a suite of products that really no one else in the industry is even close to. We'd kind of wa- we'd kind of just go through the catalog, the index of some of the things that we offer uh, here as the future crew in, in the future f- crew marketplace. This is kind of the nuts and bolts of Harriet. This is the BTL dream chip. They stimulate the direct pleasure center of the brain, which is something that telefantasy TV is, you know, we know how to make pleasure work. Really, actually, I mean, like, really, Harriet runs on, I think I mentioned this earlier, a networked array of millions of BTL dream chips. So this and is... BTL stands for better than life. Oh, I'm sorry. It does. St- it's and the dream chips are really at the core of everything that we do here. Um, they're really in all of our technology. They're in, of course, the DNI Stim Sim rig that put telefantasy on the map globally as a studio and also yeah, as Yeah, this is when we started to connect with people outside of the Los Angeles area. Exactly. I mean, because we really brought... S- stimulated sensation to the masses, um, you know, brought the whole idea of, of stim sim to the world. And that, of course, is media that you consume by inhabiting the uh, sensorium of another human being, uh, just reality, you know, rea- reality tripping. Now, this is top more top shelf stuff. And this is, this is like the kind of thing that seems like a big investment to people and more of one of those high ticket items on the telefantasy catalog. But this is, this is wetware, this is biohacking. Um, and you don't want to risk black market products, really, with, with wetware. It's you got to get it done in Beverly head. Hills. Nowhere east of La Brea. I know some, I good, some good surgeons, too, if you want to drop me an email. I'll send you to a good yeah, cyber surgeon. Yeah, she'll give you a card. Yeah. So this, this is the cyber eye. And, of course, like the, ba- the basic thing, of course, is that it offers 20-20 vision. Um, it allows you to see in frequencies that, you know, infrared, for example, see what animals see, uh, all different animals you can kind of toggle through. You can choose uh, an optional mirror sheen add-on effect, and that's a great, I mean, honestly, that's become very popular of a look. But, you know, beyond that, and of course, you can, anything that you perceive, you can capture in video or in still and save to your personal um, stim sim rig or, you know, whatever your hardware is. Uh, it's adaptable, I think, pretty much across the board. Um, so you can really sort of experience the height of Harriet Media from the comfort of your own skull. <laughs> This is a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more high ticket item, actually. I mean, I have one of these at home, but I don't like taking it out when I'm traveling because uh, it is very expensive. This is the uh, top shelf Ono Sendai Cyberspace Seven Deck 
this was originally made by Hosaka, but we acquired them in that massive multi-corporate global merger. And we really kind of like made the design better. Not that like sleek, rubbery look that, Mm-mm. you know, kind of went out of fashion. It's kind of that more hard plastic Chrome. buttons. Yep. You know, none of this, you know, invisible interface, like hard buttons were kind of something yeah. that people really wanted and they're very stylish. Buttons that click, just hardware, yeah. heavy hardware. Because a hardware look mixed with wetware is just... A yeah, hit. I know, because you could go full wetware any day, you know? I know people that are like that, that just have the deck, they have the Ano Sendai, you know, pineal attachment, in, in pl- implanted surgically, they have the eyes, you know? And I think that, you know, you lose a little bit of the style of why we all got into this in the first place. Yeah, this is, um, this is actually, I think, a custom ring. This is your old rig that we're just showing off right here in, the, in this picture, uh, which means it's been modified a lot beyond the original factory prototype. I think you added a flip-flop switch yeah. so that, um, you know, patched right in there with a, a network of ribbons, fiber optics. Uh, this means that you can kind of jump from sim stim to reality in just a lightning bolt. Um, and also, Jack, between live and pre-recorded sim stim without having to log out, you know, and go back into, into the matrix. You have to you can stay logged in. So, it, yeah. Uh, I think this one has a 20-point plug, though, which is you know so so out of vogue that it's kind of impossible to really find an adapter people really anymore. like that vintage look though. i know but the adapter is what kills you because they don't yeah. keep making the adapter no one does i don't know adapter upon adapter but upon adapter is really kind of coming into vogue yeah the stacking stacking yeah <laughs> Just create, just creating an infinite loop of every kind yeah, of adapter just, plugged into know, every other a, kind of adapter. And it's kind of flashy, you know. You're showing off your media consumption, how many adapters, how how many levels of, of how many turtles all the way down. Yeah. Well, this one needs the 20 to 40 point, which I, you know, is hard to get in the matrix. But if you go down to Chiba after midnight. Yeah, Santee Alley and Chiba City, they have yeah. the best deal. Yeah, they have great deals. But you do have to kind of go there after after everything closes. Yeah. The other great thing about the Sendai is that the interface is uh, entirely com- compatible and yields optimum results when networked and interfaced with military infrastructure hardware. So great hacking tool, basically. I mean, the blocks just fit together. Um, it's just a smooth ride from what I understand. Thank you. This has been the Future Crew. Log on. Jack in. Drop out.